Okay, hello everyone, it's me, Page of Maces, and welcome to Baldur's Gate. I know it says Baldur's Gate 2, but this is a smooshed together version of both two games. Um, both two games? Yes, both games. That makes a bit more sense. Um, managed to sort this all out thanks to my friend Swordfish, who's probably watching this, so thank you Swordfish. Um, so we're just going to get on with it. This is a very nostalgic game for me. I've been wanting to let's play it for a while now. Um, I know there's a lot of bars going on, but once the game loads fully, that will stop. So let's get on. We will make a character. I try not to spend too much time doing this. So we've got character generation, we've got gender. Obviously we're going to go for female, because I am indeed a female. And let's just check through these quickly see which one I like the look of. To be honest, I like that first one. Although, that's always quite funny. I don't know. Um, well, it doesn't really make much difference. Normally I go for that one, because I like that one. Um, but, ooh, that's weird. That's interesting, interesting. Nice hair there. Looks like Virginia. I like this. This one. <laughs> she kind of looks like um, Yosef Bridge from um, Firefly. And I always go for Half Elf. And class, we are going to be a ranger. And we're just going to be a normal ranger. I've had a look through these. Beastmaster, this ranger is a wanderer and is not comfortable in civilized lands. Maintaining a natural affinity for animals. They are the Beastmasters, friends and comrade in arms, and the Beastmaster is a limited form of telepathic communication with them. Advantages, stuff to stealth ability, um, enhanced spell ability, may cast the level 1 spell, find familiar. True spell animal, disadvantage, cannot use any metal weapons. Don't wear any armor heavier than studded leather. So, we're definitely going to go with this one, because it's good all rounder, I'm used to it. Also gets means I get to use swords, and we're going for chaotic good, because that's what I am. Genuinely good person, but I'd like to feed my heart out, and we'll do most stuff. I uh, don't know if you want me to read this out or not. Um, chaotic good characters are strong individualists, marked by a streak of kindness and benevolence. They believe in all the virtues of goodness and right, and they have little use for laws and regulations. They have no use for people that try to push folk around and tell them what to do. Actions are guided by their own moral compass, which, although good, may not always be in perfect agreement with the rest of society. A brave frontiersman, forever moving on as settlers follow in his wake, is a good example of a chaotic good character. And also the ranger that likes to rob people. Abilities... Uh, oh, hang on, phone going off. Sorry about that, telemarketers, what can you do? So, that's kind of rubbish. Intelligence 7, Charisma 14. That's a lot better. But we're going to take a little bit off. Take 2 off Charisma, put it into Dexterity and Constitution. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy with those stats. I don't really care about Charisma all that much. I'll just move that. Skills. Skills we are going to put one into short sword, one two into bastard sword, and where is longbow? Don't normally bother with shields at all. But we'll just actually no, I think we can get bastard sword straight off. So we're gonna go with the typical ranger setup here. And my racial enemy Let's see who we've got here, we've got beholders. A large floating orb with a central eye, large mouth and many small eyes sprouting from stalks atop its hideous form. Truly alien beholder kin come in many variations, although all should be avoided. But we are going to go... What the hell is Kyotoa? Kyotoa are an ancient race of fishmen that dwell underground and harbour a deep hatred for surface dwellers and sunlight. Insanity is common amongst these people. Okay, but we are going to go for spider, because I absolutely can't stand spiders. So let's see what we've got here. Giant spiders. Spiders are aggressive predators, drilling both above and below ground. Most are poisonous and bite prey first. 
So unconscious victims are easier to carry to a lair. Spiders have eight legs and eight eyes. They normally fit into two car categories. Come on, go down. Web spinners which have bulbous abdomen and thin sleek legs and hunting spiders that have smaller bodies, larger heads and fangs and hairy bodies and legs. Ugh. Most giant spiders are simply much bigger versions of the web spinning spiders. Oh, that's just fantastic. Oh my goodness, so many things going on. Right, be right back again. Right, apologies for that. Keep being interrupted by meter readers and some such. So, right, we've picked spider for our racial enemy. Because spiders suck. Suck most royal. So, let's go for appearance. So, we've got white hair. We've got brown hair. Blue hair? There's no purple. Let's have green hair, why not? And colour. Sorry, just run up the stairs. So seeing as we're a ranger, we want to go for something that kind of blends in. But it doesn't look too showy. Minor. Yeah, I think that looks good. So done. Then we get to pick these. All will die. Your life shall be mine. Death will come swiftly for you. <laughs> That's funny, but um, my character tend to be young, so I think I'll stick with this one. To battle. To battle. So now we just need a name. And we are going to go with a character from a book that I'm writing, and her name is Melia Hannay. Or actually, we could probably just stick with Melia. Yeah, let's go just with Melia. Uh, no, not back. Done. To accept. He who fights with monsters should look in, look to it that he d himself does not become a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. I apologise for the easy bitty window. So tiny. They're small. Such old graphics. Right, such a guess. Look away now. <laughs> what a jackass. Lovely. Just the way you want to start a game, eh? Watching a guy get choked to death and thrown off a roof. Wouldn't you agree, Fatso? Let's give him a little What? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. The game's older than me. That'll do. Let's get. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, 
but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Dun 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 dun. See, there we go. Whoa, welcome to Candlekeep, your home. To select your character, left click on the green circle around their feet or the character portrait on the right. Uh, left click for non formation movement and all actions, right click for formation movement to cancel actions such as spells. You should now move clockwise around Candlekeep. As you move around the keep, you'll find green robed green robe monks. Talk to these monks and they will give you lessons on how to play the game. To talk to the monks, left click on them while your character is selected. Your character will walk over and talk with the monk. Also, many different messages will be given to you through the text window at the bottom of the screen. To expand and contract this window, simply use the two small buttons to the right of it. Okay, so let's just contract that for the moment. Indeed. And we're going to go in here first. Wait, did I accidentally pick the male voice? Oh wow, this is tiny. It is done. Oh no, it's the female one. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. <laughs> oh, I love that. Winthrop. Well, hello there, young one. Come come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have ye? Oh, don't forget the 5,000 gold piece book entrance fee as per candlekeep custom, don't you know? So got... This is outrageous. What kind of fool do you take me for? Stuff you're in and stuff your company. Uh, you always were the big kid of Winthrop. That gets funny if nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. I fear I do not have that sort of kind of interview with me. I shall return when I do. Well, we'll go with this one. Ha, huh, just having a bit of fun with you, my friend. Them monks may be walking around with poles up their ne in their nethers, but you know you're also welcome here in my sight. Grinded well by you, he did. So is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room to sleep, or anything to buy? So I'm not sure what you have. Uh, I swear you sold weapons. Or I could be going incredibly crazy. There's people over here. Noble woman has nothing to say to you. No time to chit chat. Step up to the heat, young one. You'll need a good fire to warm the chill stairs of those monks. Most hospitable they are. Isn't that so lovely? Oh, yes, darling. They are most standoffish. These are somewhat close to life, so they're unaccustomed to many visitors. You're perhaps a bit more colourful compared to what they used to. Watch your tongue. or not that concern you. I'll do that. Colourful? Dear, perhaps we should dress a little more plainly to fit in. It's worth a try, my dear, although our clothes might only be the half of it. They certainly couldn't react any worse than they have. I thank you for the gest suggestion, Melia, and for putting it tactfully. Good eve to you. Dialogue. Locked. Right. We're just going to do my traditional raid everything. <laughs> everything that we can raid. I think most of these are locked. Is it possible to zoom in a little certainly. bit more? Money. He's asleep. Locked. Chest. Locked. He's similarly asleep. Over this way. Pardon me. Locked. Dash tool. Oh, there's a person there. Don't touch me! I might catch something. Yes, might have helped you. Yes, might I help you? Sorry, I've disturbed your wrong room, I fear. My apologies, I have been knee-deep in the tomes of the keep all day and I'm quite a fog as a result. 
Yes, indeed, you might help me to your valuables. Oh, indeed, such a wonderful depository it is. I have returned here on many an occasion to my bank, much to my banker's dismay. I have not even scratched the surface of the collection here. Would it that if it were so for all of my noble brethren? I fear that many come to the keep merely to proclaim that they did. I suppose that makes them appear more intelligent, although simple quizzing places the majority surely securely about the chimp level. I'm sorry, I tend to ramble. Good eve to you. Right. Ah, uh, there's another guy there. See Away insane. with you, beggar! Away with you, beggar! Uh, just go to free, sir. Uh, yeah, ahem! <coughs> Yes, well, don't let it happen again. Right. Never mind all this. I think we've nicked all that we can nick. Uh, let's talk to you, because you've got a quest for us. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Ah, yes, I'm back within the hallowed halls of Candlekeep. With this iron crisis upon us, a trip from Beragost was more hazard than I care to relate. You're Grind's ward, aren't you? My, you have come into your own. If you'd permit an old man, jealous of youth, to say so, hmm? I left an identify scroll with Tethoril in the inner grounds. You should be done examining it by now. So if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. Okay, look, dude, I swear you used to sell weapons as well. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Yeah, there, you, there we go. Uh, so we want... Uh, right. How much of bastard swords? That's kind of gone off the screen. But if we go for a long sword first. Bye. And then we go for just a short bow and a bunch of daggers. Maybe we need to click on that. It's been a while, so sorry. I'm oh, sorry I'm not automatically fantastic. Okay, so we want three of those. And then we want one of those. We also want some leather armor. I think we can afford that. Yeah, that's seven. Uh, could we afford that? That's thirty. No, we'll just go with leather armor for now because studded leather comes everywhere and we'll get ourselves a helmet bye done okay so where's the inventory is that it yep that's it oh I had some studded leather armor in here anyway oh well never mind we we'll immediately cover up our painstakingly made things so we want to put that in quick weapons there we'll put that one there Oh well, that's annoying. Okay, right. This is back. Sorry, we'll just go. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Yeah, I know it is. So we can sell the leather armor, and we can sell that quarter staff. No, we can't. These quarter staffs are rubbish. They deal rubbish damage. Right, arrow. Buy a couple more. Bye. Right. That steal. No, we're not stealing. We don't have enough money for rumours, so we'll just go quickly into there. Done. And done. Now we'll carry on. Okay, so we're all done. Uh, it's. Oh, I've 